How's it going guys? Welcome back for everyone that's already seen some of my videos. And if you're new here, welcome and we're glad to have you. To be sure not to miss any videos in the future, make sure to go hit that subscribe button right below. I'll be posting videos on Thursdays and Saturdays for sure, and then every other Tuesday. So my main videos are gonna focus on credit cards, personal finance, investing, stuff of that nature. And some of my Tuesday videos will be a little off those topics, but still related to personal finance type stuff. So today we're going to be talking about the Chase Sapphire Preferred Credit Card. This is an intermediate level credit card by Chase and it's a travel rewards credit card. Now this video is only going to be an overview as there's a bunch of different things and features about this card that need to be talked about in later videos because they'll take a long time. All right, so this is the Chase Sapphire Preferred. You can see it's this nice deep blue color. It's actually metal. I don't know if you can hear that or see that, but it is metal. It's a lot heavier than normal, a normal credit card. Um, it feels really nice when you're holding it. So as I said, I would call this credit card a beginner to intermediate travel credit card. If you've never been into the annual fee paying of credit cards, this does have an annual fee of $95 but it is a great card to get into that travel rewards game. And I'll show you a little bit later in the video how even paying that annual fee of $95 will pay off. So since this is a travel credit card, we're not going for cash back here. We actually earn Chase Ultimate Reward Points for every purchase that we use with this Chase Sapphire Preferred card. So with this card, you'll earn two times points on travel and dining and one times point on everything else. The Chase Sapphire Ultimate Reward Points can be worth anywhere from one cent per point to two plus cents per point. It really depends on the way you redeem your points. And I'll get a little bit into that, but I think I'm gonna make another video fully describing how you could get the most out of your Chase Ultimate Reward Points. So the big positive with this card is its sign-up bonus, as is a lot of other credit cards. If you don't want to get this card because it has an annual fee or that's deterring you from getting a card like this, I would highly recommend looking at that bonus and see if it makes sense for you. So the bonus points on this card is 60,000 Chase Ultimate Reward points, which is equivalent to anywhere between 700 and 1200 plus dollars. So it definitely cancels out that $95 annual fee. Let's just give a quick example. Say in one single year with this Chase Sapphire preferred card, you spend $5,000 on travel and restaurants. Say you only use this card for travel and restaurants because of the two times points it gets you. So that would yield you 10,000 Chase ultimate reward points because you're getting that two times multiplier on all of your purchases. Those $10,000 Chase Ultimate Reward Points can be worth anywhere from $125 to upwards of $200 plus, depending on how you actually redeem those points, as I said before. You can redeem these points in multiple ways. Probably the best way to redeem these points is actually transferring them to an airline. So for example, I transfer all of my points or most of my points to United Airlines because there's a United Hub right near me at Washington Dulles Airport. And usually with those points, I get at least 1.5 cents per point. So say there was a flight that was $750 round trip. Usually I would only need about 50,000 Chase Ultimate Reward points converted over into the United Miles uh, to pay for that $750 flight. So that is getting you a lot more value than just that one cent per point. And I'll make sure to go over the opportunity cost between getting this card and getting, say, a no annual fee travel card that might get you better benefits and actually better return on your investment. But for the sign up bonus, you at least need to get this for a year or two, and that bonus will pay for the card for those two years. And if you feel like it, you can downgrade the card. Um, as I said, I will talk about that in other videos. And let me just mention some extra perks that you get with this travel credit card. So I'm not gonna go into all the details, but this card actually gives you a lot of different travel insurances and protections. So like lost baggage, um, travel insurance, so you don't have to pay that extra fee. You know, you go on Expedia and it says, do you want travel insurance for this flight? And this actually covers all of it. So you actually need to go in the terms and services and read all of those clauses, but they are pretty valuable clauses if you do end up needing to use them. 
And the one last perk there is with this card is a DoorDash subscription. So I believe it's called the Dash Pass. And what this gets you, you get it for free with the card. And what this gets you is anytime you order DoorDash with an order of $12 or more, you get the, the delivery fee for free. So they'll deliver the food for you for free. And then those service charges that they also add on, they'll cut those at least in half. I've gotten a little bit more off, but that is the big perk of this card. If you do use DoorDash or another delivery service such as Uber Eats, I actually switched from using Uber Eats to DoorDash because of that benefit with this card. All right, so that's my quick overview of the Chase Sapphire Preferred. I highly recommend it just because of the bonus points you get. Now, I will talk in future videos about the Chase Trifecta. You can Google that and learn all about it. Um, the higher rewards travel card from Chase, the Chase Sapphire Reserve. And I'll make videos on those in the future. And remember, if you are new here and you like this video, be sure to go down there and click the subscribe button, give it a like, and then comment. I'll respond to all the comments. So if you have any suggestions of what you wanna hear from or just anything about the video in general, put it down below and I'll respond to it. All right, that's it for the Chase Sapphire Preferred. Have a good one everybody and watch out for my next video on Saturday.